Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So for today's topic we're going to be talking about four tips before donating or if you're thinking to donate any organ, this is specifically on the transplant, definitely keep on watching this video. But before we get started, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and comment any questions you might have down below or any video requests you guys might have. Hola a todos, buenas tardes, pues aquí estamos nuevamente en el, en el canal de Cindy para hablarles sobre los cuatro consejos que antes de un trasplante estos consejos que, que vamos a decir es sobre mi experiencia y si quieren uh, seguir sabiendo de nuestros consejos sigan viendo el video Let's get started Vamos a empezar Consejo número uno es que van a tratar de intimidarlo a uno, de asustarlo, diciendo de que los, que los puede pasar algo en medio de la cirugía o, o tratando de, de sacarlo si, si lo estamos for, esforzando a uno a dar el riñón. Tip number one is that they're going to try to intimidate you. So the coordinator on the um, donor side is actually their job to kind of like make sure nobody's forcing you, make sure you're certain about this and that you want to go through it. They're going to be asking questions like, is anybody forcing you? They're going to be asking personal questions and um, family related questions. They're going to basically interrogate you for four hours because that's what they did for Haiti. And um, they're also going to try to like scare you and like say, you know, you could, you have a lot of risk. You, you can like, you do know you're giving a kidney, you could die and this and that and like tons of like things to try to scare you. Be prepared for a lot of intimidating and a lot of intimidation. They want you to second guess on what you're doing. Consejo número dos es que hacen, hay el procedimiento de muchos exámenes. Eh, por ejemplo, en mi caso, en mi experiencia propia, eh, tuve exámenes de sangre, exámenes del corazón, uh, chequeándome la presión y, y me recuerda que el último examen que me hice uh, para mí fue un poco difícil porque no es algo nuevo para mí. Uno de los exámenes uh, más difíciles para mí que aún no estaba preparada que iba a ser ese examen fue el de Sisti, sí, que lo, lo meten a una, una máquina y pues le ponen la inyección en el brazo. Duele un poco pero puede soportarlo uno. Para mí fue un poco difícil porque no es algo nuevo para mí experimentar algo como lo que he estado experimentando con el trasplante. Pero traté de, de, de no enfocarme mucho en, en asustarme, sino que tranquilizarme y confiar en que todo, todo iba a salir bien. Y pues por la voluntad de Dios, hasta hoy todo salió bien. Tip number two is be prepared for a lot of exams with your doctors and blood work and a lot of just testing. They're, in Haiti's case, they checked her, they checked her lungs, her heart, her kidneys, um, both of them, and like the line going to the bladder. Um, what else did they? They did like CT scan, which was one of her most difficult scans for her because. Uh, if you know a CT scan, it's actually, you have to get IV to um, highlight like the organs and stuff. And um, a lot of blood work and just consist consistent blood work. If you're not used to it, you kind of have to like get accustomed to it for like those, for the period of testing. And um, a lot of appointments with your doctors, just discussing the process and kind of going through the experience of what to expect. Consejo número tres, eh, ponen a, a, me pusieron sobre todo a mí a recolectar una orina de 24 horas y pues el consejo de que yo les doy es que sobre todo beber agua, beber agua bastante porque es una orina que uno recolecta de, de 24 horas, desde la mañana hasta la noche, pero sobre todo hay que tener Cuidado y estar al pendiente porque, por ejemplo, a mí la primera vez se me olvidó porque no recolecté alguna orina y eso hizo de que cambien los exámenes. Entonces hay que estar al pendiente de, de recolectar las 24 horas el pipí. Tip number three, guys, is that they're most likely going to make you guys do a 24-hour urine collection 
and her tip to you guys is to basically make sure you're drinking a ton of water during that 24 hour urine collection and to stay alert and reminding yourself that you need a collective because if you miss one urine it changes the whole ex um, the whole exam in her example she had to do the 24 hour urine collection twice because she missed a couple times her urine and um, she was the exams like came completely off so basically just drink a ton of water be consistent with collecting your urine and just of course just drinking 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 el consejo número 4 eh, es mantenerse siempre positivo por ejemplo en mi o sea en mi experiencia yo nunca nunca por mi mente no sé que me pasó pero Eh, no, o sea, no, no pensé en qué era lo que iba de trasplante y todo eso, o sea, yo estaba tranquila y, y no todos tenemos ese pensamiento, pero para los que van a donar, mi consejo es que estar tranquilo y positivo, porque estando positivo es más mejor, o sea, la mente está más tranquila y, y pues tratar de es bueno tratar de no pensar en, en qué es lo que va a pasar porque no o sea, no lo sabemos solo nos queda confiar y, y y que todo va a salir bien last but not least tip number four is make sure you stay positive don't let your mind overthink don't let uh, negative thoughts get to you and just stay very positive you know remind yourself if you if your body can do it and you're like good and healthy if you pass all the exams the doctor required you to take and they said it's okay then just maintain positive and like remind yourself you know you're gonna help somebody you love or somebody that needs you know needs this kidney and just overall just stay positive trust in God you know God has everybody under control if it's his will he will allow it to happen always trust in him that he has everything under control and just stay with positive mindset and prayer so guys these are our four tips more like these are Hades four tips because she was the one that donated which I'm forever grateful for um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and comment down below I also want to ask you guys if you guys have any video requests please don't feel shy to like let me know because I love making video for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching Pues espero que les haya gustado nuestros consejos y que les sea de utilidad. Y pues les, agra les agradecemos mucho por, por ver cada, por ver no, lo, nuestros videos. Si tienen preguntas tanto como inglés en español, pues las pueden, las, los pueden preguntar y nosotros con mucho gusto se las vamos a contestar. Y una vez más, gracias y que Dios les bendiga. Bye. Bye.